All right, so I thought I would do this video. It's on a piece of software called, um, uh, it's a piece of software that I've had for a while, and uh, I thought I would uh, discuss it. So um, it's called Image Resizer. And since I'm using Pixel Game Maker, this is basically directed towards Pixel Game Maker users. If you like that look, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm not a huge fan of it. But if you like filtered graphics like you would see in an emulator, and uh, just to quickly illustrate, I'm going to switch over to my desktop to infinity and beyond. Actually, that didn't sound very heroic. To infinity and beyond. Yeah, okay. Anyhow, but yeah. I love that look. It's so weird. Ooh, delay, delay, delay. Okay, so if you can see down here in the bottom here, um, you can see uh, these down here. So I'm going to use this emulator right here as an example. This is Jens GSR7. If I do use a filter, I usually just use the one that looks the most like a television for me, or a render. I keep saying filter, but render. And that's Blarg NTSC, and I'll give you an ex uh, give you an explanation of how that looks real quick. I'm gonna boot up uh, Captain Silver. Let's go with Captain Silver. Wait, no, Captain Silver doesn't work. That's right. That's Master System. Master System doesn't work. Lovely. Anyhow, uh, God help us, Valis. Is this the stuff I've been playing recently? Okay, yeah, no, hold, hold, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, let's find him. Where are you at, kid? There we go, kid, come in. Let's go with that. Don't do that. Open it. Just open it. All right, this is what I mean by the filter. Hang on. Well, we'll go ahead and let it. Ow! Ow, my ears! Ow! 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 Anyhow, to me that's the closest filter to a television. Like that, that pretty much looks like a like a cheap television. You know. So if you go to render, just go to normal, and then just pixelated. Uh, you can go to uh, double, which just doubles the size. Just kind of give you an idea. So let's go through some. Uh, renders right quick just to give you an example real quick. Uh, there's two S two times Sal. I don't know what that is. It looks, like, it looks like that. There's um of course blog NTSC which is meant to look like a television. Actually I wonder Blarg's NTSC filter. You can actually adjust settings for that filter, isn't that cool? Uh, but this is the actual emulator. This isn't the software I'm fixing to show you. So yeah, but you can adjust different things with this it, with this filter. I love, I, I just love Blargs and TSC filter when it comes to Genesis games. It it's just looks the most like a Genesis game. Okay. So and then we have I don't I, EPX, which it looks okay. It's all right. It's nothing to write home about. Can you stop. It? rather sit on this screen. Uh, he has plus. He doesn't look much different to me. And then we have the HQ. The HQ ones. There's HQ2. There's um, HQ3, which is three times the image. And it looks like that. Uh, unfortunately, there's no XBRZ for this emulator that I know of, that I, that are, that I even see. Uh, I don't see it. Um, there's Super 2 times Sal. I keep pronouncing it as Sal. I'm probably pronouncing it completely wrong. Okay, so that's a good example there. Um, hopefully you guys could hear me talking over that. I probably have the music that the desktop audio is a little too loud. So let's bring that down a bit. Don't need it that loud. Or like, uh, let's uh, use this for an example. Um, video. Uh, right here, there's different uh, versions. The thing I love about this emulator is that uh, I can actually just... Let's start up a game. Uh, Pi Pi, Tales of the Sea Hag English. Uh, go for it, Golem on 2, that's pretty good. 
good example of something to use. Blues Brothers. Let's let's go with Cong Congo's Capers, I think. Let's go with Congo's Capers. Okay. Display configuration. I think I can do this while the game runs. Right? No? Oh god, you suck. I miss Data East. They were the bomb. Deact team. Oh, I was 13 when this game came out. Alright. Now let's go to uh, display configuration. Alright, so I have it on forced one time and I've got it like opened up and whatnot. But there's also uh, the Blarg. Of course, Blarg's. I keep pronouncing it Blarg. I hope that's the right way. Also has this for the Super Nintendo. So my favorite, I think, is this one. There we go. That's uh, Blarg's. Uh, uh, I think you want to have that on too. Yeah. There we go. Bilinear filtering com uh, with uh, Blarg's NTSC composite. Pretty much looks like a television to me. You know, the scan lines are very faint. Scan lines are not supposed to be that doggone intense. That's why I hate most regular scanline filters. They never look right to me. They're too intense. They're not evenly distributed across the screen. Yada, yada, yada. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but then we have uh, S-Video. And we have uh, RGB. A lot of people prefer... I think it's RGB that they prefer. Maybe S-Video or RBG. I don't know. They don't like composite. I like composite. Uh, Super Eagle. Or Super Eagle. 2 times or 2 xal 2 xal HQ2. It's okay. It just everything looks more bumpy, and you can see it around the the O's and whatnot. So I'm not a big fan of that. Just keep going through it right here. EPXA. Let's go down here. Uh, then there's the XBRZ. So there's XBRZ3, which really smooths things out quite a bit around the edges and everything. It's a nice filter effect. But I just wanted to use this as an example to show you what I meant when I go into this tool uh, and I show you what I'm talking about. Uh, where's HQ? I don't even see HQ. Oh, there they are. HQ. Uh, we did show that, though, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. T dot. That's kind of meh to me. Don't worry. My favorite, of course, is this. <laughs> A lot of people disagree. That looks horrible. Yada, yada, yada. And yeah. So now you see what I'm talking about here while we're at it. So... Now, let's open up the actual software that I'm here to speak of. This is Image Resizer. What this does, and you're going to need Photoshop to go with it, by the way. You're going to need Photoshop or some kind of software to remove... Um, uh, hang on a second. I need to go back to my webcam real quick. I don't want you guys to see anything inappropriate because I don't know if there's anything appropriate in my images that I can open. Uh, oh, okay, there isn't. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Okay, there we are. Let's go ahead and minimize this. All right. Thankfully, there's not anything here. <laughs> Nothing inappropriate. That's good. You never know with me. I swear to God, you never know with me. So, what do I want to use for this? I want to use my... I can use my Andy, my Andy sprite sheet, possibly. I think that's the best thing to do. Yeah, I'll use my Andy sprite sheet as an example. Now, one of the things that's bad about uh, about uh, imagery sizer is it doesn't you. There's no way to have the the I don't know what you would want to call it. The um, there's no way to have the alpha, this blank space. Uh, so whenever you filter, it looks at it as white. So then you have weird artifacts around the outside. Now, I don't think there's any solid black anywhere in my image. So what I would discuss, suggest is whatever you work on, use black for the background. Okay? Go ahead and save that real quick. Okay? Use black for the background. Uh, make sure that your graphic doesn't have pure black in it. Okay? And there's a reason that I suggest this, because you're going to have to go back in the Photoshop in order to do what I'm about to do. Okay? So then we're going to open that file with XBRZ with, uh, is it, oh yeah, I got to go to 
my awesome Andy assets. There we go. There's Andy revamped. That's how he looks there. So for this, I'm going to go with uh, XBR. We're going to go with XBR. And uh, we're going to go with um, three times. Okay, just regular XBR, three times, resize. And that's how it looks now. Now we can save this image. It doesn't really look that great to me. You could always, like I, you, like I was going to say, you can go back into it and modify it just a little more. Like his nose doesn't look right at all in this. His nose looks wrong on so many levels. Like that doesn't look right. You actually could, you could use a different XVR. We can go with, uh, that's the filtered kind. Let's go with our blended kind. It has a blending. We can do that without the blending actually. So resize. There it is without the blending. There's no filters or anything. I think you can see the difference. So we're going to save this as... Um, not in this folder. We're not going to save it. I don't know why it keeps going to that folder. We'll go here. Uh, and we're going to save it uh, as HD. All right. So now it's saved as HD. There we go. Saved as HD. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this because I don't want any trouble from Photoshop. Let's go ahead and get rid of that because I don't like that. And now let's open up, if it'll go, HD. The reason I said to go with black like I did, now you can use the filth, the uh, the uh, blending, or not use the blending. I didn't use the blending, so it looks like this. I, I, I'm going to be real with you. I, I can't stand how this looks. I can't stand it. It looks horrible. I would have to touch this up big time to make it even even remotely presentable. But, like I said, the software doesn't have um, filters, so you have to do this number. And that'll give you the thing that you need. <laughs> and you might still have to go in and touch things up. I, like, I'm going to say it again. I don't like this. I don't like using this. I don't like how this looks. I think this looks horrible, um, but there are people that do like that, and I know people that I've seen in the Steam forums for Pixel Game Maker have been saying, hey, I want to have this filter options added to PGM. It's not necessary. Just make your game bigger and make your assets bigger. Uh, make make them, You can use the software that I'm trying to show you guys now, and you can filter it. Um, yeah, because see, okay, let's open this again, and let's uh, resize it. Uh, we're going to do it with the filter, and I'm going to show you why, or the blend, I should say. We're going to show. I'm going to show you why it's an issue. That's another reason it's an issue. This is why you also don't use black. Look what it did to his hair and whatnot. Or you don't use white. I meant white or even see through. You don't do it. Just you just don't do it. This is another problem with the software. If it's got a file open, it doesn't gonna let you it's not gonna let you save it with the other software. And then you have to open it again. It's it's kind of annoying. So yeah, don't it, the filter causes issues, that's why I wasn't gonna suggest it, but suggest it. But um There we are. Go back to the uh, X, X, XBR times three. This is with the blend. Uh, it looks a little better when you use black. The see-through or white, lighter colors just doesn't work. So now we can say this is the HD and just overdo the other one. This has a blend to it. The blend is there. So, But there's a reason why I say go with black and don't use black with your images. You can change it later. I mean, it can be edited, but... All right, so let's go up in here. Now you see the filter. This is why it'll. It's just yeah. <laughs> this is why you go about it this way. It's just better. And what you want to do is you want to use anti-aliasing right here. Especially if you have dark outlines like this, it just kind of works a little better. So uh, use that. Delete, and uh, that looks a little better. And I can use that in the game. I can use that for him, uh, for like a larger version of him if I wanted to. Like I could have a like a big version of him grow and just do stuff and whatnot. Filter's a little better because, number one, 
this was completely square without the uh, without the uh, without the filter or whatever. Uh, but this is basically how you can use the software. Um, you can do it without the uh, anti-aliasing. I don't know any other software you could use. You could probably use GIMP. I don't use GIMP. I don't understand GIMP. I don't like GIMP. Um, but if you don't use the anti-aliasing, you end up with really dark out outer parts of it. You see what I'm talking about? And that doesn't look good. It doesn't look good in anything. Uh, anything that you make, even if you don't use black outlines or dark gray, as I'm using, uh, it just, yeah, it doesn't work out too well. So that's why I say do it like this. And this way you can make assets like these. It's a little trial and error. It's a little annoying, but it's an option for those who want to do this kind of stuff. Uh, who want their graphics to look like this. Yeah, I hate this. I hate how this is doing, like, right here. Like, this is what I mean by I'd have to go in and fix this and fix his nose a little bit. Like, that doesn't even look right. You know, it's because it's I'm using a, a lighter color here. Like, if I used a black color like that, or not black, but the same color as up here, it'd probably curve into it a little better through the filter and whatnot. Uh, but, um... That's an option. It's an option for people who like this kind of looking, kind of look thing, whatever. It's there if you want to use it. Uh, I mean, you can go back in with something like the paintbrush here and and go, and just kind of go into it like that. See, there you go. Now he's got the nose I like him to have. I am not going to go with this with my game. I like my pixelated look in my game. Uh, I just do. But it, like I said, again, this is an option for those who like that visual appeal. It's it's not something you have to use. You can use stuff like this. There's probably other software out there to help you do this. And I just don't know enough. But here we are. So that's this is basically all I had for this video. This is called Imagery Size. I'm going to put links in the description. Um, I'm surprised this still exists where you can download it. My mouth is getting dry. But there, there is a website you can still get this software, but it hasn't been updated in years. And for all I know, there might be software out there that is still updated that does the same thing, but better. I don't know. This is all I'm aware of. So that's it. And I hope people get use out of this. If, if it's not your thing, I completely understand. It's not really my thing either. Uh, but here you go. And, uh, and, uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, Happy, uh, happy, happy, how do I say this? Ha happy indie creating? Happy indie game creating? Or happy, ha happy creativity. That's a good way of saying it. Happy, happy pixel game making. There we go. This is for, pic this is, my videos are directed towards pixel game makers. So, happy pixel game making. Have a good one.